me, the biggest thing that I actually saw was the alpacas, especially yep. specifically um, from the anime. Yeah, Tiger yeah. Bloody. Yes. Yep. That's awesome, dude. And they were so proud. I was looking to get on Tetsu in his normal clothes. Uh, that's right, that's right, because we only brought in one, like, one case for each. Uh, just because um, they were on the, like, on an actual container ship. But for us to have units there to actually sell at, you know, for, near, for our booth and also the Miz booth, we had to airship, like, you know, a bunch of boxes. But it's so expensive, so it's just more of a promotional cost. But yeah, that's why I only had, like, a limited thing. And, uh, yeah, a lot of them, yeah, they sold out, which is awesome. Yeah, that's pretty cool, man. Yeah, like, the response has been really great from them. Um, I think Big Bad Toy Story. Yeah. Like they weren't even trying to hear it at, at, at first, just because it wasn't really their kick. You know what I mean? Like they weren't really heavy on plushes, but like you know we're, we're we have a good enough relationship with each other. And I was just like, listen, um, you know, we just you know we wanted to do a pre-sale on them, like so just order whatever gets ordered. You know what I mean? Just fulfill the orders that you get, and um, and, and don't worry about anything else. And you know, once and they're the first guys to put them up for pre-sale. They're the first guys that got their links put up on uh, on the Tiger Bunny Facebook page, and so they they just took it. They, took, they got a lot, man, and they were surprised. They were just, you know, they're happy that that they took a chance on it because it paid off like big time. Yeah, and I think what you even killed it too is, you know, before it was just Tiger and Bunny Llamas and stuff, yeah. and then once we flipped it and saying that they're cosplaying and stuff, it just opened it up even more. You know, like people just. Yeah, like the whole idea of it, because like, you know, we, the construction of it got executed really well. Like we went back and forth a lot, like months and months and months um, of just, you know, just the smallest line needs to get curved here, you know, just the littlest, tiniest details, um, and, it, it, and it all paid off, you know, like all paid off. And so, uh, yeah, so I mean, if I could have worked like a little bit, if I had a little bit more room on the pricing, then you know, you probably would have seen it online through like things like Hot Topic too. You know, just to really just kind of get it out there. But there are a couple other chains that you know, like really good healthy chains that you know are picking up units from us. And that's all we can really ask for, you know. And then uh, we're even trying to re-import, not even re-import, but basically get that property back out into Japan. Um, just to service all the fans out there, you know. And we would, we, we do have like you know uh, distribution set up. Like really, just we have a distributor set up. We have just a whole plan. Like we already have committed, you know, a, 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 uh, quantity commitments from um, uh, the chain anime over there. Uh, but it's just a matter of just really just getting all the legalities out of the way. And so you know, so it'd be dope to have like a U.S. product really make it big and really just sell really well. So for US Anime right now, what we're really pushing is uh, the Anime Trexies. So we've been working on these for the past like almost a year and a half, really. Um, and so they're finally, you know, everything's produced. They're all up in the container. They're on their way, you know, on on the ocean and everything. So um, like transit's taking a little bit longer just because there's like a strike at the ports yeah, and everything, right? Um, so I still got to get actual confirmation of, of arrival date. But yeah, they're good to go, and um, they're you know they're gonna sell really well for us, and uh, and they really should because the product itself like turned out like you know this is off of the the, the Trexy platform figure for Play Imagine did it, yeah. But you know really, and this isn't even just you know uh, trying to pump it up in any way. Like these are really some of the best Trexies that that got produced, um, just because for the most part. Uh, classic Trexies, they all have round heads. They don't have like a hair skull. So originally what they wanted to do was just paint the hair on, you know? Um, Viz was a, the folks that actually took a look at it and asked if it was possible to do actual hair sculpts, which was dope that they did because that's what led us to like, you know, really strong product. And so, uh, so I know that, um, you know, you should be able to see Death Note and Naruto at least in like major chain stores. Um, and then everything else that'll kind of follow with, you know, seeing how 
of how well these other uh, series go. And what's dope is that, you know, Death Note's been over forever, but it's still just one of those shows, man. Like, people are just picking it up, no matter, like, whatever it is, you know, the, the, the fandom is still there, the following is still really strong. So it's something we can count on. The show is so well written. So far, it's Bleach. Death Note and Naruto, right? And Tiger and Bunny. And Tiger and Bunny. And Tiger and Bunny, yeah. So, I'm pretty sure the timeline goes, we were working on, you know, the anime Trexies, and then that's when the idea to dress them up for Tiger and Bunny for the llamas came up. And, then, uh, and it worked, man. Like, it turned out really well. And the response has been, uh, yeah, really, really good. You know? And then, so, you probably saw these over, just displayed over in New York, so these are, this is uh, something that uh, I worked out an exclusive deal to bring into the U.S. Uh, for like the next, I think I got another year and a half or something. Um, and these sold, you know, sold really well. Uh, like the actual plushes of the Colossal Titan, like I was limited to 500 in the U.S. forever. So non-restockable, non-rotatable, and you know, the last, uh, last units that I did have, I had like another box or two left. And I had a meeting with Hot Top and I was like, it's yours if you guys want it. So that's one of the first things they picked up from us. So, uh, you know, they should have it online. I don't think they had enough quantities um, to even hit up any stores, but but it should be doing really well. So it's online exclusive? It should, well, they have the last remaining. Like there are other folks that, you know, bought it from us. They could buy it at like a con or something like that. Or if they have like their own store. But for the most part, you know, the last ones that are, you know, that were available, they got it. And um, and because the actual quantities were so low, then it had to be strictly just online, I think. I haven't looked it up, I haven't looked up the SKU, but um, I don't know how long it takes for them to, for the actual process after they receive it, but, but yeah, I shipped everything out myself and, you know, and just worked on it, you know? So, so that's, you know, it's really cool just to see that all come together. Listen, if you didn't buy it up until this point, it's gonna have to be a harder time to get it now. Yeah, yeah. No, totally. Especially because now it's they have the last quantities um, pretty much available, you know. Um, that's not on like secondary market or anything like that. Um, where, you know, and that's really, they're really one of the major, major retailers. I think Diamond picked up some, um, some things. Uh, I know Entertainment Earth like listed them. Like, you know, we have like those regular folks but to have like, you know, uh, just another added like retail presence, it, it makes it legit. Just cause like with Hot Topic, you know, like what they're saying is they really want to see, they know that anime has a real huge potential for growth for them. But right now it's just Attack on Titan, it's Death Note, it's free, uh, Black Butler, that's kind of it, you know? Not even Naruto, I don't think, you know? But, but that's also because there's a limited amount of product out there too. You'll see some sword art online, like, but, but that's like the regular accessory keychain type of stuff like that. But as far as like, uh, like collectible type things, um, they don't have a lot. And so for us to have these Trexies, you know, be the alternative to like a Funko Pop, since that's basically the only other kind of figure that they carry, it gives them a perfect alternative, plus a totally, you know, an open door into just opening up that market for them. Um, so it's, it's dope that, you know, that they see that they there needs to be a concentrated effort in making that, you know, that actual area grow in their business. Because, I mean, you know, the more it's out there, man, this is a thing. Like, the whole cycle of, of uh, you know, being able to produce, right? Like, you know, shows don't go that long nowadays. You'll get a couple seasons, but you won't, but it's going to be hard pressed to find like a Dragon Ball, a One Piece, a Naruto, a piece that goes on for hundreds and hundreds of episodes, right? So that means, you know, for us to produce things, even though it takes like maybe one or two years, there's still a chance that, you know, the show will be over before the product even comes out. And so if the show's over and the product comes out, then there's a limited amount of money that they get from licensing. If there's a limited amount of money that they get from licensing, that means there's a limited budget for episodes. So then, and, you know, for, for there to be like a big driving force retail-wise to create a real demand and supply the, you know, supply the folks uh, for licensed product, then it gives more promise to like longer, you know, longer running shows or even just, you know, the studio itself just taking that money and investing into something else into creating new, you know, new product. 
Um, so, you know, even though, like, you know, one or two seasons, like, it's cool. Like, I used to, like, watching, you know, just give me, yeah, just give me 13 episodes, I'm cool. Like, I just want to see the story done. But now, after kind of realizing how that affects, like, the whole thing, then I'm like, yeah, like, I want to see, like, these extended, you know, four or five seasons at least, you know? And so, you know, uh, being able to have product, that, that helps make it possible. So, uh, so hopefully, man, hopefully, you know, this is really, I mean, anime is not a new thing at all, but as far as that kind of mainstream success and just the actual, um, just for it to be something that people are seeking and really, like, not even just in specialty shops, not at conventions, but just as in just regular spots that, like, you know, um, that, that you don't need to buy a ticket for, that you don't really just really be, be to be in the know to, to know about, but just to have it just in a casual spot or a setting, like, that could make a big difference.